Okay, we are on lesson 11.4, solving linear systems by multiplying first. So you can go ahead and read the explore section on your own. I'm going to jump ahead to page 39. And I want to draw your attention to this. I like this. Do not solve, right? We just want to get used to what it means to multiply first. Um, this is just an, uh, just an added step before we do what we did on the previous pages where we were adding or subtracting um, the equations to do the elimination method. So anyway, um, we're just getting used to what it means to multiply so we can actually do the adding or subtracting. So here we have two equations here, negative 3x plus 2y equals 4 and 4x minus 13y equals 5. And so the first part here is what are the coefficients and coefficients of the x terms? And so here we go, those are the x terms. The coefficients are negative 3 and 4. Again, the coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables. And between negative 3 and 4, what is the LCM, or the least common multiple of these coefficients? So what's the smallest number, or the least number, that 3 and 4 can multiply into? Well, 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 and 4 don't go into each other. So. Um, the least common multiple in this case is going to be 12 and so we're going to turn but basically what that means is we're going to turn the 3 and the 4 into a 12 so that we can go ahead and add them together so let's think about that what do we multiply with 3 to get 12 well, we'll multiply that by 4 what do we multiply with 4 to get 12 well 3 so let's go ahead and distribute that 4 across that whole um, uh, expression there. So 4 times negative 3x is negative 12x. Oh, sorry, they have the x in there already, so negative 12. Uh, 4 times 2y gives us 8y. 4 times, uh, and then 4 times 4 is 16. So all that equals 16. And then also um, for this equation in the bottom here, uh, 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times 13 and it's negative 13 by the way says so negative 39y and then 3 times 5 is 15 uh, and we are not solving it so we're going to stop there so as you can see now it's nicely set up where we if we were to add this this would eliminate the x's since negative 12x and positive 12x becomes zero so on the next page we'll, we'll solve these but for now we're just getting used to what it means to set these up so and then in this next question question number two uh, we're going to work with the y terms. We can do the same thing with the x terms, but um, I, I think they want to, us to have practice doing the y terms as well. And also um, because they want us to try to get opposite signs. And 8 and negative 2, positive 8 and negative 2 are opposite signs. So another reason why they selected y in this case. So um, what are the coefficients of the y terms? Well, it's going to be positive 8 and negative 2. And what is the common coefficient of these? of these coefficients or the least common multiple? Well, um, it's going to be 8 actually since 2 can also go into 8, right? 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 1 is 8. So the least common multiple in this case is, is just 8. So let's try to think about this. What do we multiply with 8 to get 8? Well, it's just 1. What do we multiply with 2 to get 8? Well, 4. So we're gonna, if we distribute that 1, it's kind of silly, but uh, it just remains the same, right? 3x, 8y, and 7. And then if we distribute that 4 across this equation, 4 times 2x is 8x, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8x, and 4 times negative 10 is negative 40. Yeah. And we're going to stop there. We have opposites here, so that will eliminate the y's when we add them, and so we're nicely set up to solve that system of equations. Okay, question number 3. Let's think about this. Uh, what are the coefficients of the y terms? We're going to go with the y terms, but here you'll notice that they're both positive and they tell us strive to obtain opposite signs. So uh, we're going to have to get a little creative with this, uh, how to set this up. But let's think about what the coefficients are first. So the y terms are 5 and 3. The least common multiple of the coefficients is 15, since if we multiply 5 and 3, we get 15, and 3 and 5 don't go into each other. So 15 is going to be our LCM there. So let's think about this. What do you multiply with 5 to get 15? Well, 3. And then what do you multiply with 3 to get 15? Well, 5. And so before we start distributing, right, we want these to have opposite signs. 
so what that means is I want one of them to become negative. And you can make either one negative. It doesn't really matter. Um, so you can make the 3 negative or you can make the 5 negative. It's really your choice. I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, I'm going to go with a negative 5 uh, just, just by random chance. But you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm going to distribute that 3. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 5y is 15y. 3 times 22 is 66. And then we'll distribute that negative 5. So negative 5 times 10 is negative 50x. Negative uh, 5 times 3y is negative 15y. And then negative 5 times 22 is, what is that, 0, 1, um, 110 or negative 110 sorry um, and then we'll go in this nicely set up right because that'll eliminate the y's for us okay so on the next page or so this is more explanation but on page 41 is when we're going to actually solve okay so let's think about this if we think about um, if we think about these uh, equations here um, we need to get rid of one of these. We can either get rid of the x's or the y's. I think I'm going to just go with the x's here, all right? Because it's just one step. I can just change this whole top equation by uh, multiply by three, and that'll that'll give me a common uh, coefficient uh, for the x's, or at least opposite coefficients, right? So let's do three times x plus 3y equals minus 15. Uh, so I'm going to distribute uh, that 3, and I'm going to end up with 3x plus 9y equals negative 45. And then the second equation is going to remain the same, negative 3x plus 2y equals 23. When we add them together, this gets rid of the x's. Let me zoom in here just so you can see a little bit better. 9y plus 2y gives me 11y. And then negative 45 plus 23 gives me negative 22. Divide both sides by 11, and I end up with y equals negative 2. So that's, oh, I shouldn't box it. That's not my answer just yet. Then I'm going to plug negative 2 into the original equation. x plus 3 times negative 2 equals negative 15. Uh, x plus or is that negative 6 equals negative 15. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And I end up with x equals, what is this, negative 9. <coughs> Excuse me. So my answer is negative 9, comma, negative 2. Okay. Um, ooh, I skipped all the steps. But anyway, step 2 and step 3 are all in there. And uh, your answer is negative 9, comma, negative 2. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, we're going to solve question number two. So in this case, I'm, I think I'm going to go with changing the y's again because all I have to do is multiply the numerator by um, three to get a common coefficient. I'm, or actually, I'm going to multiply by negative three, and you'll see why in a second. So if I multiply by negative three, and this is the equation on the top, what I end up with, if I distribute that, is 21x minus 3y equals, what is 19 times 3? Goodness gracious. Um, 57, positive 57 since they're both negative. And then negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 19. Um, let me zoom in here. Um, so 21 minus 2 is 19x. This gets rid of the y's and then 57 minus 19 is, what is that, 8, 38, okay, and then, let's see, and then we're going to divide by 19, and I hope you know your 19 times tables, uh, this is going to be 2, x equals 2, and then let's plug in 2 back into the original equation here, uh, we should, let me see, let's go with the top one, negative 7 times 2 plus y, oh, y equals negative 19. This is negative 14 plus y equals negative 19. We'll add 14 to both sides. And we should end up with y equals negative 5. So your answer becomes 2 comma negative 5. That 
I'm going to write the solution down here, 2, negative 5.